Um, all right. Per uh, Bailund, who I think is a, what is he, a, an economist in uh, Scandinavian economist, thinks we should drop the term capitalism. He basically said it is futile to defend the term. I think we should have defended liberalism like Mises wanted. Capitalism is the in-your-face term we need to stand behind still. When are people going to understand that it has nothing to do with terminology? It has nothing to do with terminology. People don't hate capitalism because of the word. They hate capitalism because of what it means. Indeed, people haven't rejected, people don't understand what liberalism means anymore. And, and rescue liberalism, yeah, defending liberalism, it's a good word. I like liberalism a lot. But liberalism is also a mealy-mouthed, centr centrist, non-committal word. Everybody was a liberal. I mean, 19th century, I mean, anybody from John Stuart Mill, the, the egalitarian turned socialist, uh, not egalitarian, God, no, utilitarian turned socialist ultimately, to, I don't know, you could, you could argue the funny fathers were maybe liberal, but, you know, but, but then everybody, but there's no edge to liberal. There's no principle behind liberal. There's generally, generally, we should be for freedom, but God help us from defining freedom. We don't want to define it. We don't define what it means because then you might have a definition very similar to that of capitalism and everybody will hate you. There's no such thing as enlightened self-interest. Enlightened self-interest, when you ask people what they mean by enlightenment self-interest, they mean not self-interest. They add the enlightened to distance themselves from the self-interest. Now, we can invent our own terms. We can invent new terms. But self-interest is a pretty cool term. And the fact that people don't understand it is their problem because they choose not to understand it. Because it's right there. It's called self-interest. And the same with selfish. Ness. It's the opposite of selflessness. Everybody understands selflessness, not caring about self, not taking care of self. But they refuse to accept that selfishness is the opposite, taking care of self, caring about self. And they want to stick in at the expense of others. But that's because they hate the idea of having people actually pursue self-interest. Not because they're confused, not because if we change the word, they'd buy it. What people hate about our ideas are our ideas, not the words we use. I don't care. You want to replace capitalism with something else? Fine. Replace capitalism with something else. You think you'll make one iota more impact? I don't. Not one iota. If the intellectuals who think about these things, who are not impacted emotionally by a word here or a word there. If the intellectuals embraced capitalism, would the masses follow? Of course they would. If the intellectuals embrace selfishness as a good term, would the masses follow? Of course they would. Our battle is a battle for the intellectuals or to replace the intellectuals. And the intellectuals understand the difference between concepts. They understand what words represent. And we're not appealing to their emotion. We're appealing to their intellect. And there's a reason why selfish is a good word. Because it's the opposite of selfless. Because it means taking care of self. And the addition of at the expense of others is just gratuitous. It's unnecessary. It's not in the word. It's in what people want to imbue the word. They want you to believe that there's no such thing as taking care of self without abusing others, exploiting others. So, I, you know, I don't think it's worth, 
I know I've debated selfishness and people debate capitalism to no end. It's a waste of time. It's not the issue. It's educate people about ideas, about content, about what's important, what's what right. Let's use our terminology because we have clear definitions and most people don't. They just have vague notions in their mind. So let's give them our definitions. Instead of being mealy-mouthed about it, let's go out there and declare ourselves capitalists. And here is what we mean, by the way. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder... Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>